what's up good people welcome back to my youtube channel good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are watching this video from to our new subscribers karibuni sana here we talk about self-love self-improvement and self-awareness in terms of our physical emotional spiritual and mental wellness karibuni sana and today i want us to talk about something that we are all familiar with being organized in our homes in our offices you know in our surrounding and i want to start with a quote having a simplified uncluttered home is a form of self-care having a simplified uncluttered home is a form of self-care i know you know one one person who is always very organized you know if it's event you know she's check if it's um their home you know it's sparkling clean you know if it's their closet it is sparkling clean if it's their office you know desk office at home or uh, in the office you know they are always on check and today i want us to tap on that um that's uh that thing of being organized in whatever that you are doing i don't know if it's me alone the moment um my closet it's not it's not uh lined up you know it's not in order manzi i always feel distracted um i can i cannot settle how do you organize your home you know what do you do to simplify you know keep off the uh, clutters in the house maybe it's clothes it's kitchen you know there are people who say they cannot go to sleep unless they do dishes they want to wake up in a sparkling clean um environment you know when they start to prepare breakfast they are starting on a clean uh place and today i want us to start with um one of the things that can help you being um organized and one is having a morning or an evening evening routine this thing of morning and evening routine by the way it really works in any area that you want to um you want to tap into for example the moment you wake up and sometimes we are in a routine and we don't know for example the moment you wake up what's the first thing you do others they pray others they make their bed they spread their bed you know they go to immediately they go to the washrooms you know they start uh, brushing their teeth others they go to the kitchen to start to prepare breakfast you know that is a routine maybe in the evening um, a job or uh, from uh, your hustles you come to the house what's the first thing manze you do maybe you go uh, pre refresh you freshen up and maybe you take a glass of uh, cold water you know you start to prepare dinner you take maybe a coffee before you go to sleep you journal you pray that is a routine and most of us we don't know it's good to stick uh it's good to stick with a routine because it will help you not to to overthink or to think every time what am i supposed to do next what am i supposed to do what is left ni 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 it's good to have a routine like morning routine you wake up you spread your bed you pray you meditate maybe you do affirmations you go uh, prepare breakfast you you clean up here and there you know it's good to have a morning and an evening routine another thing is to put everything where it belongs the moment you finish up with using things for example maybe it's a makeup uh, makeup uh, uh, those products instead of just kuzirushanisha uh, huko you have to have a place that you can put them you know have a makeup kit whereby you just uh, go and put them immediately you are done with using maybe it's kitchen you know the moment maybe you finish up doing one two three things maybe you clean up in the like just have everything on its own place that one will it will reduce clutter and it will reduce that uh, effort of uh, um, um, replacing everything i don't know unairushanisha tu anywhere you want you know have everything on its own place another thing is having a to do list yes it's having a to do list this is more familiar having a grocery list the moment you go for shopping to go and uh, and um, shop some groceries you have that to-do list why do you have that that uh, list to to go for groceries 
because you don't want to forget anything and then in the middle of the week you have to go back to the shop and start uh, um, you want to go and uh, do maybe onions or tomatoes or carrots you have that to do list and you are so faithful with it because you don't want or you go to the supermarket you know for shopping lazima to you have that to do list it's good because it will reduce your effort you know it will reduce some some hassles and also another thing is to review your to do list the moment you are done with groceries what do you do the moment you mekuja from the market you, you are coming out to offload your your groceries uh, to you want to do it you want to put them on the fridge you start uh -huh, this have, have, you start to tick i'm done with it i'm done with it i'm i'm done with it and that this shows that you want to know what you have accomplished uh, that day it's good to have a to do list and it's good also to review your to do list you can also have a, a to do list maybe of uh, your weekday to do list what do you want to do on on your weekday maybe after work your weekend to do list you want to hang out with with friends you want to maybe go for shopping you want to do maybe to try a new skill or a new hobby it's good so that you you try and see what you have uh, what you have accomplished another thing is to keep on a calendar yes you hear someone say, telling you i have a birthday you know i have this uh, event coming and then you don't mark and then you forget or you start uh, looking for that dress that day you know event is on a on a saturday and on saturday morning that's why now you start calling online shop hi do you have this dress hi no do you have this dress can you deliver for me you know it's good to have to keep that calendar so that you prepare early you prepare early so that if there's something that you have committed to do if it's a meeting with a client or um, a function you know there are people who are on check with functions man they you know if on saturday you are having a baby shower they are on it they are the ones that are reminding people if they are having um a wedding you know there are those people man they i know you know one person who is always on top with those things it's good let's keep on a calendar so that it will be more easier for us even you can put a reminder so that you can avoid a lot of um, a lot of rush hours at the end of the day yes and then another thing also you can get help you know if you are maybe struggling with being organized there are some people who don't who don't uh, value being organized they don't see if it's a very um, important thing but it's also a, um, it's it's a way of self care the moment you are reducing a lot of clutter a lot of um, stress you know everything it's in own place e eco hapa this one is like this and this and this you are really avoiding a lot of stress by the way there are some people they cannot um, maybe sit in a cluttered house or maybe there are people who don't feel like they cannot go and sleep with utensils or dishes in the kitchen that are dirty yes so it's good let's let's keep organizing our lives let's keep organizing our our environment it is a way of self care it's a way it's a, just a way of being you know it's good to be neat it just feels good you know you are neat you're in a place where the, it's clean you know if you you are so busy you can also have a cleaning list today you are saying this weekend i'm going to clean uh, my my kitchen from corner to corner you know you're going to clean your 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 bathroom you're going to clean your bedroom you are going to clean the living room you know you just purpose you're going to do one thing at a time and imagine you will find that you have already done all your to-do list and you have accomplished a lot the small small uh, steps there are sometimes there are some things that they don't need you to to keep them until weekend uh if we can so that you can clean up some small small um some small small chores you can just uh, pick up maybe five to ten minutes chores you just brush brush here and there and you will find by the way you are reducing a lot of um a lot of stress when uh, weekend in Africa you have a lot of clothes you have a lot of cleaning to do you have a lot of uh, maybe assignments from school you have some job to do you know there's just a lot that is waiting for you for you to avoid that maybe monday you can come do one thing 
Tuesday, you do one thing, Wednesday, evil, evil, and then you find yourself that you are already, already, you are already done. So for me, I'll uh, add you, especially be organized. I know some ladies say, manzeni, ikitu manzeti yangu. Unajua, there are some people who even wake up, they don't uh, spread the bed. Then they say, ah, you know, it's normal. No, it's not normal. It's good to be organized and it's good to put everything in its own place. So let's try and practice this self-care. And yes, let's grow together, be happy, more happier, more peaceful also, and enjoy this moment of self-improvement. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. See you in the next one. Adios.